guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a massive target haul i hope you are ready we have a ton of things to get through we're just gonna jump straight into it no particular order but before that make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it don't forget to subscribe before you leave make sure you hit that little bell if you want to be notified every single time that i upload or you can wait until the end of the video after you see everything and if you like it then make sure you give it a thumbs up you guys it really 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 helps your girl out leave a comment how are you today what are you having for lunch what are you up to do you usually watch videos and like sit down and watch them or do you usually like play them in the background and like kind of just do things around the house it's typically what i do unless i'm really really interested in what they're talking about um then that's when i really sit down and like listen but for the most part youtube is playing in the background while i'm cleaning while i'm doing the dishes while i'm organizing while i'm doing laundry anything of that sort youtube is always playing in the background so i really hope i can become that for you um yeah anyway let's just get started you guys because i have a ton of things to get through the first item i have here is this little three drawer plastic organizer this is all the storage that i'm giving myself in additional to what i have on my desk like i'm not giving myself any more room i'm i thought about for a split second getting a new desk with like drawers not happening this is just gonna home um any backup makeup that i have any backup skincare and then down at the bottom i decided that it's gonna be like my empty little area so yeah I want everything in here to have a home you guys and if it doesn't have a home it has to go that's really like what i went into target with that mentality so if you see that a lot of like store little storage bins or organization things like that that is what i'm looking for um i know i'm probably not going to use a lot of these things but i can just return them target has a great return policy so i love that about target um anyway enough rambling i also picked up this three set of glass organizers i did grab two it comes with two shorter ones and then a taller one um i don't know if i'll use all six but again if i don't use them they're going back i'm not holding on to anything i used to literally hoard organizational things you guys i had to get rid of a lot because i was just like oh well what if this or what if that or what if the pantry or what if like whatever i wanted to organize and i'm no longer doing that you guys if it does not have a home it has to go um along the little kitchen lines i did pick up this three pan set of little baking sheets it comes with the third one i've already used it 10 out of 10 you guys this is a brand wilton i had never used it before but Marissa knows a lot more about like cooking and kitchen stuff and she, apparently it's a really good brand and so far so good. I have read it a 10 out of 10. Um, really, really nice. And then I also grabbed a couple dog things. Again, this is no, in no particular order, you guys. I'm just grabbing from the little pile that I have here. Kindful has been a brand that my pets really enjoy. They have um, their dog food. They have like little food toppers that they have. I grabbed some wet food this time, but I really want to try these like little wipes. Um, before at the house i'm not gonna lie they didn't really get wiped down after coming back in like of course they have the regular baths and stuff but now that we're like in an apartment complex there's a lot more going on outside it's not just us and so i really want to make it a point to wipe them down especially their paws um after coming in from outside because there's a lot of crap out there and i don't want them to bring it in you know um along with that i also grabbed this little bone we got this from the dollar section i grabbed quite a bit from the dollar section I think we're going to jump straight into that after this. Uh, but this is just for like their her harness, her leash, Rex's little leash and stuff like that. Just so it has a home. Again, that was my mentality. I didn't want them just laying around. Like literally right now, since this isn't up, they're right next to the door on the floor. And that's what I'm trying to avoid in 2023. I don't want any of that. And so I hope all of this helps. Then, um, yeah, I just said that I'm jumping into the dollar thing. Um, but I have like a couple bags on top. So we're just going to move those over and I'm going to share with you guys everything that I picked up in the little dollar section. I grabbed two of these, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to use both of them, but I figured I can put one of these in like the bathroom or maybe even like um, the pantry for like little knickknacks or um, like maybe my tea bags or something like that. And then on top, I love that it has a flat top you could also stack these but i don't know how well you'd be able to access the top drawer since only the bottom two open this one i haven't opened it um because again i don't know if i'm for sure gonna use that one but this one i'm pretty sure i'm gonna put in the bathroom for like any little things or like my everyday makeup maybe putting it in there or even on my desk um and if, if i don't find a spot for it again i'm gonna return it because 
no clutter in 2023 we did a really good job in 2022 like we got rid of a lot of things um but we definitely towards the end started like accumulating a lot of things we had like a yard sale and got rid of a lot of things before we moved here um so i want to keep it that way i want to keep it light and airy and just like I don't know because I know that a clutter room or clutter house means a cluttered mind and I do not want that this year you guys that is literally my mantra no clutter whatsoever I also picked up this cute little glass like citrus juicer I love adding lemon to anything I add it to food I add it to drinks anything possible I add lemon and I thought this was just so adorable and I love it for three bucks really really good quality thick glass um also oh i just saw it right here i did grab a little mug this is so freaking adorable i grabbed the um hearth and hand mug last year and it was so freaking cute i like that this one's bigger my only thing is is that i drink like massive <laughs> teacups so this is like the perfect size ideally a little bit better but it's just so adorable for valentine's day i just couldn't say no i love the fact that it's like stone down here i i just love it this is just definitely like my vibe now i used to love a lot of like bright design like mugs and i still do but i tend to gravitate more now towards like the neutrals and that fits my vibe right now so that is so so cute anyway the dollar section i did grab two little uh frames because you guys frames are freaking expensive i don't know why they're literally like 30 dollars for this size i'm pretty sure this is a four by six no this is a five by seven even better um so this is just a little bit bigger than the four by six but look at how adorable you literally slip the picture in here and it just like it's in there and i think it's so cute these were literally three bucks each i couldn't say no i should have grabbed a couple more for like the bedroom um i grabbed these for the living room but they're just so adorable and i knew that they would go really really fast so i had to grab them can't wait the hardest part about like the frames is deciding what picture to go in it um so i should have grabbed a couple more but again, I don't want to overdo it. If I go back and they're there, then they're meant for me. And if they're not, then they're not, you know? Um, I grabbed two sets of these just because I'm not sure if I want to go with like this amber color here. Um, I really like the look of this. I think it's like super sleek and clean and not necessarily black. But I also picked this up, which is like a darker amber, um, not black. I don't know which one I like better. I need your help, you guys. Let me know down in the comments. Would you go with this one? This is pretty. I like, I really, really enjoy this. Or this one, because this isn't necessarily black, but it's just like a darker one. So I grabbed two sets because, of course, I wanted one from the kitchen and one for the restroom. So that's those there. Those are three bucks a piece, but you can put anything you want on there uh, dish soap, lotion hand soap anything like that then i did pick up a spray bottle i think this one i'm keeping for sure because i like putting um vinegar in here and just to like clean the shower or clean the sink anything like that so i like having glass bottles um i had one but i think i got it lost in the move i haven't seen it in the boxes so i decided to grab that then i also picked up this little tray also from the dollar spot i think this is the last thing that i bought let's see when i grabbed this you guys because i found a receipt right before trying to organize the stuff and literally i bought this stuff december 29th we weren't even fully in here december 29th i think we signed no we weren't even here no we weren't even here yet and i was already grabbing things just because when you move you know you know what i mean like you always find things this was january 4th it's literally almost two weeks ago but anyway this little tray i thought would be really nice in the restroom or even like on the sink so i can put like the dish soap here and maybe like the little scrub daddy here or like i said in the restroom the same thing like a little soap bar if i have one or honestly just somewhere so i can put like my rings um marissa her ring and stuff so i thought this was really cute the aesthetic is really nice three bucks couldn't go wrong with it but if i don't use it it's going back you're gonna continue to hear me say that because zero clutter this year I think that is all I picked up from the dollar spot. It seemed a lot more than what it actually is. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a lot, you guys. I also grabbed a ton of organizers here. These were half off, you guys, so I could not, like, not buy them, especially knowing that I could potentially use them. 
Um, so I grabbed another one of my little skincare little things. I don't know if you guys saw, did I share with you guys? Yes, I think I briefly showed it in like my last video where I have like a ton of skincare and stuff. I want another one specifically for like medication. So any vitamins, ibuprofen, um, any like aquaphor ointments of things of that sort, one specifically for that. So I know for sure I will use this, but then I will also grab two more of these bigger ones um, just in case I need them to organize like our snacks or i don't know just random things in like the pantry or stuff like that again this is not a for sure but i bought it half off black you can't go wrong um yeah and then this next one one for sure i'm going to use for biscuits and rex dog toys um just because i like the size of it the color isn't ideal but it's not bad i feel like it doesn't clash too much with like what we have going on in the living room and again they have so many toys that for sure one is going to be for that and then the next one i don't know what i'm gonna put in it again if i don't find somewhere like i'm still unpacking so i could potentially find things to go in here uh, maybe like my i have a lot of faux little plants maybe i can keep like my faux plants in there because i tend to well before back in the house i had a little coffee table next to me and i would change like the little decor with the season um maybe once i unpack those i can put that in there i don't know things like that you guys um also picked up uh some clothing items let's get into the clothing items so i picked up another pair of jeans because your girl the other day one of my favorite jeans tore the thighs if you have thick thighs you know the struggle this right here got a slit and i damn near cried because they were my favorite pair of jeans i had them for a while though and i use them constantly so understandable but unfortunately i can't find them on the site they're unavailable and so i went with another ava and viv this is a high rise crop um springs around the corner summer's around the corner i thought a crop fit would be nice they have a little bit of distress i still haven't tried them on um and then down here they have like that little um what do you call this like the i don't know you know what i mean about this um but yeah so far i grabbed another pair um of black ones not that long ago because we had a party to go to and they fit really well because sometimes um the brands are not consistent enough but ava and ava and viv never fails me 10 out of 10 i think they were on sale also so just whatever the tag i did not pay that yeah i didn't pay 30 bucks i feel like i paid like 20 maybe even less because they had sales going on for like the new year so i picked up that and then i also picked up another one of my favorite jackets i have the black one i showed it in a target haul i know for sure but we were literally in the ava nyc section and i saw a yellow tag and i was like dude i, ha I have to have it like it's so cute this was literally nine dollars it says 15 but it rung up for nine dollars instead of 30 you guys my little black one i use it all the time because it's so light so easy to just pair and like just throw on when it's not so cold because we're in the season now to where like it'll be cold in the morning but like by this time you don't need a sweater and if you do it's really light so i wanted to grab this one and i like the color perfect for fall or even the springtime green is one of my favorite colors to wear um so i love 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 that and then i also found another shirt on clearance this is a white one i'm kind of nervous but it was half off i couldn't say no it is a size x which is technically a size 14 in ava and viv but it seems like it'll fit so and if it doesn't it's gonna go back i have no problem returning clothes um but yeah 12 bucks you guys i love these little designs right here they're so so cute like just the whole thing that looks like it's inside out i don't know why i'm really into that i love the fact that it's long sleeve and um yeah that's all the clothing i picked up you guys um really really glad i only did that and honestly i only grabbed them because they were on clearance and the jacket i already know i love the black one and that one i just wanted a new top you know like sometimes i really want to just switch up my style that's another thing that i want to work on in 2023 you guys i want to elevate my style i'm forever in t-shirts like this one i think it's so adorable you can't see it but it says mental health matters and there's a brain and like flowers um but i live in t-shirts so, like literally t-shirts jeans sneakers that that's like my wardrobe but i want to step it up like i want to step it up and so i don't know i just decided to grab that shirt the black the white one um let's jump into like i guess bedroom household kind of things i picked up a satin pillowcase by equal tools um satin pillowcases have become like my thing i grabbed some other ones from ulta um recently too 
there might be an Ulta haul coming soon. I didn't grab a lot, but I picked up a couple things here and there. I also picked up two of these six packs of washcloths. We are switching over to washcloths instead of loofahs. Although I did pick up a couple of loofahs, that was before we decided to make the transition. Uh, we already have quite a few of these, but we just wanted like fresh ones. Um, yeah, can't go wrong with white. Picked up two of those, and I think they were literally like three bucks. So we're like, why not grab two? I also picked up another shower curtain. I did pick up the one recently in there, but I, sorry, I just had to put it up so I didn't share with you guys. It's just like a gray and black one. Um, I also got new shower hooks. That's not in the haul, but I picked up that as well. Um, this one I thought was really cute with the little peaches. I'm definitely gonna wait until like the springtime to put this one up. So excited and it's so freaking cute. I love it. Then I also grabbed, um, what's in here? let's see let's see let's see i did pick up a couple makeup products oh, it's not in here i picked up um a nyx little um like one of their little lip filler thingies i know because it was half off it was literally 3.99 um it's not in here but i also picked up another one of my favorite 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 tinted hydrator by wet n wild i am in the shade light medium it is literally so so good you guys i've gone through an entire one pretty much I think I used the last use of it right, right today, right before doing the video. Um, and then I also picked up another brush on Karis. This is by Sonia Kashuk. I really like their sponge, her sponges. Um, I don't think I've ever used a Sonia Kashuk brush though. Um, so the powder brush, I'm a sucker for powder brushes. I love big fluffy brushes. Um, why can't I open it? Let's see, I think I have to open the top. I should have opened this before hitting record but whatever come on come on come on come on oh yeah it looks nice and fluffy well not fully here i know that with use it'll fluff up more that's the thing about brushes you guys sometimes you buy brushes and you're like wait why is it like that but then with use look at that it's so nice but with use i know like once it's gonna fluff up and yeah that's much better look at that so nice um i wish i would have found their like a uh, dual sided one and then they also have a bigger one but they were all gone of course because it was on clearance so 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 nice and then i also grabbed um moving on to like hair care personal care things of that sort that's going to be the last things that i show you guys i grabbed this raw sugar the scalp scrub a micro polish with micellar water hyaluronic acid and salicylic acid it exfoliates and clarifies the scalp Lately, I don't know why, I've mentioned to you guys before that my scalp was really sensitive. Like it kind of hurt, even if I wasn't doing anything, it just felt like tender and stuff. That is pretty much gone. That whole um, curls uh, scalp treatment really helps. But now I really wanna get in there and clean up all the buildup that might be there with all the hair products, dry shampoo, texture spray, all of that. Um, and I really wanna try the scalp scrub. It also smells like eucalyptus and aloe let me see what it smells like i love when things come like with this because i know that people don't mess with them and if i find one that is messed with i obviously don't buy it oh this smells really relaxing wow okay i'm excited for this i'm really 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 excited uh raw sugar i haven't used a lot of their products only like their hand soap um i didn't really know that they have like hair products so excited to try this then i also picked up a couple of skincare products i had to re-up on my favorite sarah v um clarifying cleanser like this is top notch i know that for sure this will clear up the texture i have going i just had to use other things before purchasing this one but i've emptied one skincare product so i can replace one um i bought the jumbo size literally you guys this was 15.99 or 14.99 when the small one was going to be $11.99. So I was just like, why not get double the product for literally four bucks more? Um, so if you're going to buy this and you know you're going to go through it and buy it, buy the value size, you guys. It's literally five bucks more and you get double the product. So we love that one. Marissa also loves it. I also picked up another one of my Hero Brave Body Deep Scrubs. This is one of my favorites. I wish there was more products in here, um, but literally such a favorite, you guys. 10 out of 10 try it out you do have to buy it online i randomly found it like on a whim on clearance for like five bucks and then i fell in love with it and i'm so sad that i have to pay 14.99 for it now um i do wait until target does like a deal of like spend 
a certain amount on like skincare, body care, and then get like a $5 gift card. I always do that just because $14.99 is a lot for a body scrub that's literally 5.4 ounces. Like it's a lot but it works really, really well. Um, I enjoy it, you guys. Really, really enjoy that. Then I also grabbed another body wash. I think this is technically like a face wash and a body wash, but I'm gonna use this specifically for a body wash. This is the La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP Gentle Foaming Moisturizing Wash. So I made sure to look at the description because I saw that people were putting it on their uh, body, um, but I guess you can do both. It's for face and body, extra dry skin. My skin is sensitive and it needs a lot of hydration and so I'm really looking forward to this. Their hydrating cleanser is really, really good. So I'm looking forward to this Lipicar like line. Apparently it's really good so I will keep you guys posted. I also grabbed, like I said, we made the transition to just washcloths but I did, I always keep a backup of loofahs. I had already bought those. I did pick up a backup of the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Melting uh, Makeup Melting Balm. You guys know I love this. Um, again, they were having a sale of like where you buy a certain amount of skincare, get a gift card. And so I grabbed just skincare products that I needed, knowing that I would get the gift cards back. That makes it like a better, a better value for me when I'm going to buy things that I was going to buy anyway. You know, I also grabbed this set of like gua sha's just because I really, like I mentioned in my last video when I was doing skincare, I need to help my face with like lymphatic drainage today. I don't think it looks too bad. Um, we haven't eaten out in a couple days, but literally just a couple days of not like eating so much salt and so much processed food makes a big difference, you guys. And I really want to focus on that. I mean, obviously I'm doing it because I want to look better, but also like my body. I want my body to function better. I don't want things to be like just clogged and stuck there in my face. You know, I don't know if that makes sense to you, but um, yeah, this apparently comes with one even for your hair. So it comes with... Um, the face one but i want to look at the one with the hair i haven't even opened this this is by equal tools by the way i'm pretty sure i got it like half off because it was from like christmas um but yeah i'm super intrigued by the hair one i didn't even notice it was a hair one until i read the back and i was like wait that one's for your hair i want to run it through my hair real quick so this is what it looks like now and like the girl and the thing is literally just doing this and i'm like but what does that do for your hair what does it do maybe i should read the instructions let's see for an at-home spa the scalp oh it's apparently for your scalp helps to massage your scalp and distribute product throughout the hair use with the hair serum oh okay maybe i'll use it with that scalp one wow this does really even like oh okay replace as needed clean rinse and lay flat to dry and then it comes with a body one which is uh, take facial skin care to your whole body. Helps to massage tight, sore muscles and soothe skin. Use with the body oil or moisturizer. Wow. I really thought all of these were for the face, you guys. So I'm super, super excited to get into this. I need to be more consistent because I like, I've always tried to have gua sha's before, but I always like lose them. A couple of them have broken, so I need to be careful with this one. I do have a stainless steel one, but I was intrigued by all three of those so i grabbed that then last but certainly not least i finally was able to get my hands on this french she little body soothing serum stick everything's falling over over here sorry uh, but i got in the scent bergamot cedar and i'm really glad because the other scent i think is like warm and cozy and it smells disgusting um i'm excited to try this apparently magnesium is really good for like your sleep for your mental health um i'm really really excited this is a body serum so you really just it smells like a spa you guys it literally smells like a spa put on your notice right now it's out of stock unfortunately but put your notifications on you guys it wow it smells so good it literally smells so relaxing wow wow i'm really looking forward to using this and also so is marissa um magnesium is really good for like your muscles and things of that sort so I am freaking excited, you guys. But that is it. We have reached the end of the video, you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Hopefully, it'll be really, really soon. Bye.